Well, good morning, guys. Uh, today we are going to start working on the shipping containers and getting them ready to paint. So Levi is going to start by kind of grinding all these rusty spots, and then I'm going to come around and just kind of brush them clean. And then we're going to prime um, just those spots that we're going to um, treat, and then we will uh, just get that ready for the, the paint, the black paint. Yeah, it's gonna go pretty easy. This this side's <laughs> Stop not. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> this side's not that bad. It's probably the nicest side. So let's yeah, get our stickers the, off. The and... problem is gonna be the doors. Yeah, they're the worst. The the doors are really bad. So yeah. I'm a little concerned on on how well we're gonna be able to get those prepped, but. If we have to paint it a little more often, that's okay. Yeah, we'll see. And it's you the know. back side of the barn. Not many people will see that. So. Yeah, we probably aren't even gonna really open this these doors, honestly. No, because uh, we actually little uh, sneak into what we're planning is we're gonna do a cold room on yeah. this side of the shipping container um, for a lot of different things. So we do enjoy hunting. So hopefully we can get an elk or a deer. And then we also plan on doing uh, meat chickens and things like that. And then when we don't have animals to process, it'll be a great place to store yeah, like vegetables. Root vegetables. Almost like a, like a root cellar type yeah. of a, a thing. We'll be able to climate control it and yeah, it's gonna that be kind of stuff. So I guess we'll get started on getting these shipping containers prepped. Cool. I wonder if the round one would be better. So I just go. That's what I was thinking. Might be easier. Let me go see if I can grab it. Throw that on me. I know I've taken it off. Just have the trash can out here. This is so satisfying. Oh, wish all the, I wish all the stickers came off like that. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a absolutely gorgeous day. Um, it is. What is it right now? It's only 38 degrees, but the sun is so warm, there's no wind. And like, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna have to take my hat off and take some layers off. But this is why we can come out and do this today because uh, you can't paint if it's below 40 degrees. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Well, good morning. Good morning. 
So we finished uh, this one shipping container, got yeah. it um, cleaned up, all the you know rust kind of ground down, the stickers off, and we primed it. Um, and then yesterday we kind of took the day and we had to run some errands. We had to get propane and um, some stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we're back out here today. We're gonna work on the other shipping container. Get that one cleaned up same and exact primed. process yep. yep sand it all down knock all the rust off uh we patched a little hole on this door i think that's the only hole we have um the weather stripping on this container is also bad so we're gonna have to try to fix that a little yeah. bit there's um, a chance we might not use that door at all though yeah. um so we might just kind of wall it off yeah and because that's that's the the side that's going to have the cold room yeah and so we might not utilize that. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. They make products that you could insulate those doors with, but the hard part is is they're very expensive. We're kind of trying to do this on a <laughs> very cheap budget. So uh, we're, we're thinking about just permanently closing those doors and walling it off. Just on this one. Just, just on, on this one. one. Yeah. Um, and then we're probably going to take our scaffolding down as well. It's kind of in the way, especially when we go to spray um it would definitely be in the way um but yeah we're gonna head on over to the other shipping container look we could walk in the mud now and it's dry right now because there's uh no rain forecasted at least for a few days and then we're gonna have rain again but uh so just a little bit of stuff to do on this door and this side of the shipping container. This, that container on the roof was way nicer than this container, but this container is nicer on this side. So I don't think it's going to take as long. Um, I mean, now that you look at it, there is quite a little bit of surface <laughs> rust. So <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. And then eventually we'll also do uh, the insides because um, we're going to paint the inside of the shipping container. Uh, well, I should say more like inside the barn area, not so much inside. Maybe we will. I don't know. Uh, we'll probably try and find some like mist tint paints and buy those to paint the different rooms in the shipping container. But um yeah, so we're gonna get started on this. It'd be really nice to cover up that. Yeah, the GE Seco. This is the muddy side of the barn because it doesn't get any sun until the late afternoon. But yeah, we wanna cover that up and get our siding on as soon as we can. Yeah, just the same, same process, we're gonna clean this all off and um, there's a little bit of moisture there we'll have to clean off. Do you want to tell them what our plan is around the bottom? Yeah, so uh, we've gotten some comments about what, how we're going to waterproof this for rain and all that stuff. In the At the bottom? At the bottom. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, I have some concrete set aside. And um, it's the same concrete that I use for doing shower pans. So it's like, it's two parts concrete and one part sand. So it doesn't have any big rocks in it. And we're going to basically grout that that whole lip right there that's all going to be filled in with concrete we're going to smooth it over and then we'll cover that up before we paint so it'll look really nice and i'll show you exactly what we're talking about it's that whole bottom part of the shipping container where it doesn't sit flat onto the concrete yeah so it's really cool that it's up that high because it just shows you that our concrete pad is perfectly level you know if it went up and down then that would touch. But basically these shipping containers, all the weight is transferred to the four corners of the feet of the shipping container. And that's why we put those big sauna tubes down three feet to the ground and put a bunch of rebar in there is because that's basically where all the weight is gonna be put on. Uh, this will transfer a little bit of weight to the concrete, but more importantly, it's gonna seal it off for, for water or bugs or mice or any little thing that could possibly get into the barn. So. Uh, now that we have some decent weather, we can go ahead and tackle all these little projects like painting and, and tuck pointing that concrete in there and stuff like that before we start our siding. Uh, we have pre-painted some siding, so 
we could jump on it any time. But really, the most important thing is this corner right here. The reason why we want to paint is because this needs to be prepped because our siding is going to run by and sit on this. And so I want to make sure that there's no rust here that's going to bleed through and um, get that all sealed. So the rest of the shipping container is going to be exposed for four forever. Uh, yeah, but so this corner's not. A lot of you may not know, let me get, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're not siding the sides of the shipping container. We're doing a board and batten siding. And we feel like because the shipping container has that kind of same sort of appearance that once we paint it and the siding is on, it'll be really hard to to kind of differ, yeah, yeah. differentiate between the, the actual siding and the shipping container. Yep. At least that's our hope. Um, well, that was a way, you know, we've had a lot of comments about was it really less expensive to do this versus just a traditional pole, pole building or something like or that. Or a stick, you know, you know like a stick built yeah. barn. Um, but the reason why we're saving money is because we're not siding the back sides of the doors. So and that's the whole saving side it. and the whole the, sides of both yeah. shipping containers is that's going to save us a lot of money um, we are going to insulate certain parts of these but we'll do that from the inside yeah and so all right well let's get on it we'll stop talking and get going found a magnet oh. it was stuck to the shipping because <laughs> they're metal <laughs> All right, we got it all sanded. Um, we're just basically going around and just hitting where the rust is. Um, I know I said earlier that this side was gonna be easier than the other side. Totally not true. Uh, <laughs> but this is, this is what it's looking like when we're priming it. And um, we'll just go ahead and prime all these sanded spots just to just to prep them so they won't rust again. So that when we do paint this black, it'll uh, cover up the rust and it won't bleed through. So we'll jump onto that. Tiny's about halfway already, so I gotta catch up to her. All right, so now that we have the shipping containers completely prepped, everything has been sanded, all the rusty spots, and we primed it, we're gonna go around the edge and just kind of clean up some of the mud that made its way underneath the shipping containers when we were placing them, because we're gonna come through and we're gonna use that concrete to tuck point below the lip of the shipping container, the bottom there. So we're just cleaning it up to make sure we have a good like good contact with the concrete slab and then the barn will really be completely dried in um, and keep any pests out that we don't want in there which is all pests <laughs> so um, we're just gonna keep doing that and then 
Levi will mix up the mud and we'll get putting that where it needs to go. for water. Ryder. So we gave Ryder a little bit of a shave. We were trying to not go super short, but he has so many mats <laughs> right now. It's like puffing out and he kind of looks a little bit like either Albert Einstein or one of those Polish chickens. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix it today. What is that other tool you're using? This or this? The little one. This is a tuck point tool for like doing bricks. So you would, if you're doing bricks, like if you're doing like a faux brick, or even if you're doing regular bricks and you wanted to add like a little extra, this is like a quarter inch. So it gives you a grout line that you can just go over and smooth it out for doing like Never uh, seen that before. Uh, I like shout something. out to my buddy, Doug Clayton. I mace, that was the hardest job I've ever had in my whole life. Which being one? Mason's helper. Oh. It, man. Kids nowadays don't know what, <laughs> what hard, hard work, work is. I was a, I tended, I was a tender for two Masons at one time. So one guy, Doug, would want his mud wet. And then the other Mason, uh, Joe, who's that Navy SEAL from Vietnam, but he wanted his mud dry. So I would have to like mix his mud first, <laughs> give it to him as fast as I can, and then grab a bunch of bricks and set them over to him and then go mix Doug's mud up. It's like, it's like any job. Look what Ryder and I found. What? <laughs> Hey. Where was that at? Right at the fence line. What? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Good boy. I found it. He's just been trying to take it. Mr. Mine. <laughs> Come here. Right <Rider. laughs> Where do you think he went? Oh gosh. <laughs> Mr. Man. What is that? Well, good morning. Uh, it's another absolutely beautiful day out today. Uh, yesterday we got all of the concrete filled in on this container and uh, even this side as well um, just a slight little slope on that just because I don't want water to, to sit on that at all I want it to slope right off um, 
hopefully that's going to let you know last for a while um, we used extra strength concrete <clears throat> and then i used a mix that i like to use for shower pans which is two parts concrete and one part sand um, i added that into the extra strength um, concrete mix hopefully that's going to make it last for a really long time i also filled in the feet on all the corners i think on the top i think i'm going to put spray foam up in there and that's going to be partially covered up with our soffit so i might do that after we do the soffit today we're going to jump on this other container which should go pretty well um, we got it all prepped and cleaned off and um, i got my concrete mix this is what we're using uh, extra strength high strength and then this this stuff here is amazing if you ever have to pour a shower pan and you'll see us um do our house we're gonna have a couple of showers in there and um that's where where i uh know a lot about that's uh, that was kind of my business was doing showers and um i've done you know 15 foot long shower fl floors um and all poured concrete with that stuff it is amazing it's uh the best product that i've found so far so i'm going to use that for out here so we're going to go ahead and jump on that um, i got everything prepped and ready to go riders relaxing and <laughs> in the shade of course uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and get this going and tuck point this it took me about four hours yesterday to do that container so i'm going to jump on it today All right, we got it done. All the feet concreted in. And I tuck pointed all Mr. Man and I. We tried to give Ryder a haircut, but our clippers broke. Well, the blade, the blade actually got dull, so we gotta get a new blade. Um, but all this done, all the feet packed in and then all underneath there when we go to side I'm gonna caulk everything I can all up around the side of the shipping container and then this is the one we did yesterday and then it's all the way down um, gonna be nice and watertight and rodent tight and bug tight hopefully so that's uh Pretty nice, I got that done. About half the time it took me to do that one after I figured out little tricks and stuff to do with the trowel and the tuck point. So I think we're gonna jump back on uh, painting some of our fascia. There's a little sneak peek of our trim for our for the outside of the barn. And so just gotta do a little cleanup and then we'll wrap it up. So thanks for tagging along, later.